right, welcome to the Christian Family Center's virtual exercise classes. We're glad to have you with us today. A couple reminders before we get started. First and foremost, please check with your health care provider if you haven't already before beginning an exercise program. If you feel any dizziness, chest pain, or other discomfort while you're exercising, please stop immediately. By continuing, you're assuming all risks associated with this activity. Have a wonderful workout and a blessed day. Hi everybody, I'm Colleen and I have a uh, HIT class planned for you today and just a couple of logistics to think about. I have this planned as a no equipment class, however I do have a weight up here with me. If you have weights at home, I'm going to cue where you might use a weight at home. So if you have a light or a medium weight, you'll hear me say, and if you have a weight, use it here. Um, but it, you certainly can do this workout without any weights at all. And I also want you to think a little bit about what the surface is that you are on at home. I'm here at the center with a nice floor for jumping around, so you're going to see me do a little bit of jumping around. But if you're at home on a carpet or if you're at home on cement, I want you to just be really careful about what options you choose. I'm going to give multiple options for all of the cardio moves. Some are going to have jumping and some are not. And really just make sure, even if you usually jump when you're here, I want you to be really aware of the space because again, a big carpet or cement is going to be very different on your knees and ankles and hips. And I don't want anybody to get hurt. So we're going to do a warm up and then basically I have a 30, 10 uh, kind of Tabata format where every exercise is going to happen three times. I will cue those as we go along and there is a brief rest at the end of each circuit. There are five circuits essentially. So we are going to get started with a warm up. Let's start on the left leg and we'll just take a little march. Eight more. There's eight. Now take that left leg and we're going to lift your knee and press forward. Warm up in those hip flexors. Okay, take the arms up for eight. Take a narrow squat four times. Good, I'm on the right leg. Take it to a march. Right knees, here we go. Warming up in those hip flexors. Arms going over your head. Narrow squat for four. Good, stay here in your narrow squat. Let's take a little pulse, warm up in those legs. Sit here and we're gonna stay. Belly's tight, bring those arms up, elbows near your ears. Good, march it left. Here comes your knees. Good, arms are going over the head, breathe eight. Squat it down, you get four. Good, I'm gonna come to a squat with a front raise on my left leg, left again. That's it, take it on the right, you get four. Good, narrow squat. And we'll take it on the other side. March it right, here we go. Last time here, knees coming forward, eight. Good, arms going over your head. Narrow squat for four. I'm gonna start on the right this time. It's a squat and a front raise, right leg for four. Take it on the left for four. Good, two more. Little pulse, here we go, get into those legs. Last four. Sit right there, we're gonna stay. Then take your hands down and your hips up, coming into a forward fold. All right, couple of stretches here before we get into the circuit. Roll it on up, move to your right leg, I'm gonna mirror you. See if you can catch your left. If you're at home and you need to go to the wall to catch your balance, feel free to do that. Quadricep stretch. 
Good. Take that same leg, bring it around front. Figure four, coming into that hip and outer thigh. Then take that left leg, lengthen it. We're going to bring it in front. Sit back, coming into a hamstring stretch, drawing that upper body down. Lots of air in the stretches. Good. Make your way to the other side. Balancing on your left. Again, you could reach out for balance if you need it. Quadricep stretch. And figure four. That's it. One more. Take that right leg out in front. Coming into a hamstring stretch. Even over your hips, we sit back. Good work. Come on up, even over your hips. We're just going to take a little bit of free motion in the arms. Keep that free motion going as I talk us through this first circuit. So the first circuit is going to be a set of walking lunges. We're going to do it all on the same leg for 30 seconds. We'll be coming into a set of jumping jacks, and then we come into a forearm plank. And again, it happens three rounds around. I have a little bell that I'm working with, but when you see me change directions, you'll know your 30 seconds is up. This is a left lead walking lunge and go. Left leg is coming forward and back. Moving with it. Making sure that that knee is well behind your hip. You can do backwards too. Always leading with that left leg. Belly's in tight. Shoulders are high. Good. Hold your lunge. There's our 10 second transition. Next up is a set of jumping jacks. Remember, be careful about the space, be careful about where you are. I'm gonna be coming out right into those jacks. 30 seconds. You can use your heel if you don't wanna jump, or you can jump a lot. Double it out if you want. Star jumps, whatever you got. You can go fast, you can go slow. You have five seconds. Good work, come on over to your mat. Making your way to a forearm plank. So your wrist and elbow are against the ground. And you come on up 30 seconds. Now remember, any plank we do could be done from your knees. So you can modify there. If you're ready to make it harder, maybe lengthen a leg and then try the other. Draw the belly in. Good work, come on up. Round two is a right lead on those walking lunges. So again, I'm gonna make sure that I keep my knee behind my ankle. 30 seconds. What I don't want is to pull forward here, right? So everything stays back, belly's tight, walking lunge. Lots of air. Use the belly. Try to keep your gaze forward. Next time you lunge, let's stay there. There's your 10 second transition. Next up is a set of jumping jacks. So again, fast, slow, any combination that works for you, break it with the heel. The whole point is to move, 30 seconds. If I'm on a carpet, I'm definitely gonna stay here with my heel. If I'm on a space where I can jump, maybe I'm doing full jacks or star jacks. Yippee! Breathe. Think about the belly. Arms are high. Good work. Move into that forearm plank. This time I'm gonna come to a side forearm plank on my left side. Could be my knee is down. Could be I'm stacked. And we stay here. Play if you want. You could lift. I don't know if I can catch. You can catch whatever you've got for this 30 seconds. Don't let your hips sag down, right? Lift up high as you can.
Good work, come on up. Last time around here, I'm gonna alternate my walking lunges. So I'm gonna do one on the left, I'm gonna do one on the right, alternating every time. But the rules haven't changed in terms of my knee staying behind my hip. The bigger the step, the lower the lunge, the better the work. time when you hear the bell, pull the chair squat. And next up is going to be our last set of jumping jacks. Again, pay attention to your space and the floor. We're in. Hops if you want. Star jumps if you're crazy. As long as you're moving, getting that heart rate up. seconds. Make your way to a forearm plank on the right side. Drawing those hips in. Breathe. So make sure you're not sinking down. Really pushing up. We're already at the end of this first circuit. When this forearm plank is done, Get child's pose, yay. 10 seconds. Good work. Take it into child's pose. Knees are wide, toes are together. You stay there. I'm going to stand up and tell you about the next circuit. Circuit number two is a choreographed move that I call hesitate. It's a one, two, jump on three that we do for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna take a jump rope set and then a set of push-ups. So it's kind of cardio, cardio strength. It's the little push on cardio here that uh, we're going for. So come on up and join me. I'm gonna take it to a march on my left leg. Take it to a march. Doesn't have to jump. Here we go, it looks like this. One, two, jump on three. Could be a one, two, step on three. Or we jump. All on the left. Think about using your belly. Lift the legs. Ten seconds. Walk it off. Good, next up is a jump rope. I love pretend jump rope. It makes me feel like I can actually jump rope. Knees are soft. I'm gonna bring my arms forward. We jump. Lots of options. It could be a march jump rope if you don't want the jump, or if you're on carpet. If you wanna make it harder, stop at the bottom. Take a couple of these kind of jumps. It's actually harder than moving fast. seconds. Good work. Meet me on the ground for push-ups. We're going to take our first set as a wide arm set. I'm going to do mine for my knees because I want to make sure I get the full range of motion coming all the way down and all the way up. Choose what's going to work for you. Try not to leave your bottom up in the air. And if you're up off your knees, just make sure that your range of motion isn't just this big, right? If you're gonna do it, you gotta come all the way down. And you're up, good work. Take it to a march on your right leg. You're gonna come into that one, two, jump on three. Here we go. One, two. One, two. Again, it doesn't have to jump. It could be one, two, step. Give it what you got. I'm thinking about belly. Core is lifting me off the ground. Woohoo! That's 
that's it, walk it off. Next up's gonna be that jump rope. This time I'm gonna take my arms going backwards in a circle. And again, you can march your jump rope if you want. Here we go. Or side to side. Yeah, pretend you're good at it. Pretend you've got a real rope. Or you can try that slow version. It takes a lot more muscle. Huh. Five seconds. All right, this time we're going down for these push-ups, the narrow arm push-ups. 30 seconds is a long time, but nobody can see you, so fight with it a little bit. Narrow, trying to come down and up in one piece. I turn my head for the microphone, but I guess I can see you. I'll try to smile through my push-ups. you're up. Last time around, march it on your left. We're going to do or hesitate, one on the left, one on the right. They alternate. Starting on the left, one, two, jump on three. Right? Last time here. Again, it could go one, two, and step. Make it work for you. Yee! Walk it off. Next up, jump rope. I'm gonna do a little bit of a moving jump rope. So I'm gonna come back a little further, move forward and back as I jump. Taking the arms back as I go back. Front as I go front. Again, it could be a jogging jump rope, it could be a marching jump rope. Make sure you feel what it feels like on your space. I'm worried about that cement under your floor. You got it, push-ups coming in. Child's pose after this set of push-ups. You choose a few narrow, a few wide, mix them up. You've got 30 seconds. Really engage core muscles. Maybe you try just a few full ones. And move to some narrow. Child's pose. All right, enjoy that child's pose. Two rounds down. Next round starts in a boat pose, sitting on your bottom, working the abs. We get up for a set of jump squats, and we come into a full plank on the ground. And I'll show lots of modifications when we get there. So go ahead and roll yourself over on the mat. Make your way to boat. Sitting here, or here, or here. So 30 seconds. Again, it could be that your legs are down and arms are here. We wanna make sure you don't have any sensation in your lower back. It's all about abdominal. Chest up, gaze is high. Breathe. Almost there. Come on up. Next up we have squats or squat jumps. We're gonna take a wide set. So even if you're not jumping, make sure you're squatting, right? We're squatting down and up. And if you're not jumping, you're gonna stay right here. If you're jumping, you're in here. I'm gonna take a few with my arms in the middle, a few with my arms outside. Choose what's gonna work. Could be I come up to my toes. Not taking a jump, but getting that little bit of extra range of motion. Breathe. Woo nice job. 
Make your way down to a full plank. Again, you could be on your knees. All we're gonna do for this first one is hold that full plank. Make sure that that wrist is right under your shoulder. And you're in. Belly's tight. It's a little micro bend in my elbow. I'm trying hard not to let it lock. Core is engaged. Head and neck are neutral. I'm gonna stay right here on the mat when I hear the bell. Next up is that boat pose. Drawing the legs around. This time, I'm gonna go from boat into canoe. It's a lower boat. If you've seen the Pilates video I filmed today, this one's in there too. It's a good one though, it's worth doing more than once. I don't know about more than once on the same day, but okay. Breathe. Good work. Make your way back up. Jump squat set number two is gonna be narrow squats. So we were wide before. This time we're gonna be narrow. And you're here. Could be I just come up to my heels. Could be it's just a moving chair. Or I'm jumping. Belly tight. Could be I try to do with some no arms. It's actually harder with no arms. It takes a lot more core control. Do what works. Good work. Coming into our full plank again. This time it's gonna be from our side. I'm gonna take my right arm down. And I'm gonna start this in yoga's gate pose. See if you can catch your leg. Then I'm gonna to start to transition to a side plank here. Could be I just let go with my knee and stay here. Or one foot in front of the other. Or stack and hold. 15 seconds. We get to stay here on the mat when we're done. Good work. Coming back to our boat pose. This time I'm just gonna alternate kicking a leg in the boat. So I'm taking one leg up, then the other leg up, maybe both legs up. Now remember, my arms could be here if I need that extra support. Or they could be here. Or they could be in the air. It's gonna work. Almost there. Good work. Last set of jump squats. I'm gonna take 15 seconds of wide, 15 seconds of narrow. Choose what's gonna work starting wide. Maybe it jumps, maybe it doesn't. Maybe you're just coming up to your toes. What you don't have a choice about is squat. So you shouldn't be moving in this direction, right? You have to squat and lift, even if you're not jumping. Good, bring the legs narrow, 15 seconds more. Focus on the squat if you're not jumping. Make sure you really work that range of motion. All right, full side plank on the other side. So left arms down, left knees down. I'm gonna start in gate pose, catch my leg. Getting a nice quadricep stretch there. And then I'm gonna start to transition to a full side plank. Could be I just took my toe under and hold the knee. Again, it could be one leg in front of the other or stacked. 15 seconds. You get child's pose after that. Good work. Take it down. Child's pose. Again, you stay in child. 
We are three circuits down and only two to go. So we're over that halfway point. This next circuit has slow side lunges. Here's one of the ones where if you had a weight, you might decide to put your weight right here. I'm gonna be doing 30 seconds to one side in a slow side lunge. Then I'm gonna be coming into repeaters for my cardio. And here's the one I really want you to focus on. The strength is a bear claw. I'm gonna take a second, go ahead and come on up and join me and watch. Bear claw is low. One here option, two here option. Three, I'm just gonna bring my knees down. Four, I'm gonna take a couple steps. Level five, I'm gonna take a lot of steps. But either way, I'm never lifting my bottom in the air. And I know from doing this with you guys in real time, you try to lift up too high. So I'll remind you again when we get there. Right now, we're starting with to the left, side lunges. So it's all to the left. I'm gonna come to the side, lengthen my right and come down, and then do it again. Again, if I had a weight, I might put it in this right arm. I'm not in a hurry. I'm trying to make that range of motion push back to my hips. Belly, belly, belly. Shoulders coming down near my hips. Good, last one. Take your right leg in front, left leg is in back, arms are high. For the next 30 seconds, you're lunging as fast as you can. Make it about the upper body. Slice it. Lots of arm. How far away can you get that back leg? Think about the range of motion. The further away you get it, the harder it is to get it back in time. Breathe. you're out. Here comes this bear claw. Think about your form here. Option one stays right here. Option two, I hover with the knees. Maybe the knees are tapping. Maybe I take a step to the side and come back. You can run it, but make sure that you don't lift your hips. Back stays neutral. It's hard. Knees. Walking if you've got it. Focus on where your bottom is. Low. Almost there. Come on up. All right, good work. Round two is taking this side lunge out to the right. And if I had a weight, I might put that weight in my left hand. Here we go. Left leg is getting straight, pushing back into the right. Weight could be here. Try to bring your shoulders low. Think about whether this left leg is getting straight for you. Drawing my navel towards my spine every time I sink back. Thinking about the range of motion. No sensation in the knee. Good work. Now take that left leg. We're bringing it in front. Cardio set is slice the air for these back lunges. Here we go. Think about range. How far back can you get that right leg? Slice it in. How high can you get your arms? Oh yeah, you have to breathe too. Five seconds. And you're out. Bear claw, number two. Again, choose something that's gonna allow you to keep your bottom low. It's not a downward facing dog. Option one stays here. Option two hovers. Option three, I'm just dropping my knees. Option four, take a step over and take a step back. Or option five, run it. Use your belly, keep your hips low. Breathe. 10 seconds. All right, last round. Starting to the left, I'm gonna do one slow lunge left, go right into one to the right. If you have a weight, you'll be alternating the hand. 
weights here, and then I switch. I'm not in any hurry, I'm not moving to the beat, sinking back, seeing if I can get my outside leg straight. Nice big full body exercise here. Just about everything's engaged. Good work. Take it to a march or a jog on your left. Next 30 seconds is gonna be alternating single lunges. Left leg first, here we go, then right. Breathe. Ten seconds. How high can you get the arms? How far away can you get the leg? Good work. Finishing up with that last bear claw. I know that's a lot on your wrists. If you need to, feel free to take it to your forearm. You could be here. And you can still move side. Right? Or it could be here. Whatever you got, it's our last set. Woohoo! How you get the bottom. Child's pose coming. Ten. Take it down. Child's pose. All right, we only have one circuit left. We are going to start with an airplane to marcher. So I'm going to be here and lifting up. Again, if you had a weight, you could bring it with you. Then I'm gonna do some knee repeaters as the cardio and a roll down from Pilates for some core work. Come on up and join me. We're gonna put your right leg in front, your left leg in back. Without touching down for 30 seconds, I'm gonna draw into airplane, arms down, pick everything up, marcher. Draw into airplane, arms down, and rise up. It's all about rolling through the hip joint, really using the belly. with that left leg, step touch. So again, I'm gonna be about to slice with my arms. Here comes your knees in for 30 seconds. You can stay low. If you're on a good surface, maybe add a little hop. Let's see what that feels like. If it doesn't feel good because it's cement or a carpet, don't do it. Finish it with repeater, over and over. Arms up high, breathe. Good work. Coming into a roll down here. Extend the legs. Slow as you can. 30 seconds. When I get to the bottom, I'm gonna try very hard not to use momentum as I come back up. Draw the belly in. If you wanna make it harder, keep the arms over your head. High arms are just gonna be heavier. one. Good work. Make your way up. Left leg's going to be in front. We've got that airplane to marcher. Slow motion. Arms are coming down. And I'm coming up. Try to square your hips and really engage the belly. through the ball and socket with as little motion everywhere else as possible. Good work. Right leg, step touch. 
once again. Gonna get into those knees. Arms are high. Slice with the arms. Knees. 30 seconds. Again, you can add some hops if you want them. Whatever works. Here comes a repeater to the end. Whoop! Slice with the arms. Three, two, walk it off. Good work. Leave yourself enough room to have a roll down here. The second round, as I roll up, I'm gonna bring my left leg in the air. So right leg bent, left leg is coming in the air for a teaser. And we come back down, it's all left leg. If it's too much for you, stick with the regular roll up. Rock up into seated length in here. Good work, come on up, it's our last round. I'm gonna take my left leg in front for an airplane to march or, and then I'm just gonna alternate. One left, one right, here's the left. So from here, step down, take it back. From your marcher, step down and switch legs. Slow focus motion, think about the core. If you're doing those with no shoes, it's a lot easier with shoes on, unless you're on carpet. Good work. Last one of those. We are going to come into a football run for our last cardio. Whatever you got. It's our last cardio of the class. Really push it. Fifteen seconds. You want to be out of breath by the time you get to the end of this one. Breathe. Good work. Come on down for that final roll down. Nice slow motion as you roll it down. Then I'm gonna bend the left leg and as I roll up, bringing that right leg up. your back. Take the hands behind the head. We finish our workout this morning with a set of traditional crunches. Hands are behind the head, knees are bent. I'm coming up for two counts slowly. Here we go. Up two, down two, go up two. You've got four more. Good, we take a set of singles, one count up and one count down, think range of motion, eight. Trying to stay even over the shoulders, four more. All right, here comes fun, take an eight count pulse, keep it up, eight, six, four, hold in the air, bring the arms out in front. We're gonna take a little rope climb pulse for eight. Ready, here we go. Eight, seven, six, four, and come on down. Hands behind the head, move the legs up into tabletop. Same thing now, up for two and down for two. Hold the legs high up. Trying to keep my shin parallel to the ground. Stillness everywhere except for that work in the core. Two more. And singles, up, down, breathe. Eight. Good, give me four more, there's four. Keep it up, here's an eight count pulse. Eight. 
good. Stay high. I'm gonna bring my arms through the middle. Once again, I'm gonna take that rope climb for eight. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Hands behind head, legs down, single crunch. Good work. I'm gonna take one more round. Feel free to keep your legs here if you need to. I'm gonna move to up two, down two here. Up two. And then I'm gonna take the legs all the way up. If that's uncomfortable, leave it out. Two more that way. Last round on those abdominals. Coming into a single, make sure you've got that full range. Up and down. Eight. Breathe. Four. You've got this, we're almost done. Eight count of pulse. Go high. Eight. Hold it up as high as you can. Put a little bit of space between the feet. Arms are coming through. You probably guessed it. It's a double set. 16 rope climbs. Ready? Here we go. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Yippee! Eight more. Eight. Six. Four. And one. Good work. Release it down. Arms are up. Legs are down. Take a nice big full body stretch there. Gonna get that timer to stop. All right, couple of stretches before we head out here. Let's go ahead and bend the left leg. Take your right leg and cross it over into this figure four. I'm gonna bring my arms around and maybe stay here, or if it feels good, I'm gonna go ahead and draw in. I might take the arms underneath and lengthen the other leg. I like to take the arms underneath and then take my right elbow and put a little bit of pressure on that inner thigh. Whatever works for you, breathe. Then release the arms. I'm gonna fully cross the legs and go ahead and bend them both. It could be I stay there. If your hips have more, reach around and just hug those legs in towards the body. Lots of air. Beautiful. Go ahead and unwind and we'll switch. Right leg's down and left leg is crossed. And again, listen to your body. If that's what your hips need right there, it could be it stays there. Maybe you draw it into the chest. Maybe you grip. A little pressure with the left elbow. Maybe you lengthen. Whatever variation is gonna serve you is what you're gonna do. And then releasing the arms, I'm gonna go ahead and fully cross. Make sure you're up above your knee and then just bend. And for some of us, that's what we're gonna do is stay right there. If you have the flexibility to draw in a little bit more, you go ahead and draw that in. Good. Go ahead and unwind. Place your feet a little bit wide down on your mat. We finish with a little windshield wiper set here. Arms are in a T. Just take the legs side to side, really wide, like a windshield wiper. The legs aren't touching each other. They're wide going side to side, releasing the hips in the lower back. And then the next time you get your legs over to your left, let's go ahead and leave the legs over to the left. Take your arms up over your head and let's just grip that left wrist and bring everything for the upper body over towards the right. Release it all back to center and windshield wiper again, side to side. Again, really try to relax into the hips, release in your lower back. It's a lot of hard work today. 3010 keeps you moving. Next time you're over to the right, go ahead and leave the legs there. I'm gonna bring the arms over my head and then grip the right wrist and just draw a little bit to the left. Beautiful. Bring it all back into center. Draw the knees into your chest. Let's lift the upper body. Should feel good as you rock a little on that lower back. And then we're just gonna rock a little to the side and come right up into seated. Go ahead and cross your legs wherever maybe they are comfortable or if they're not comfortable, cross them, leave them lengthened. We're gonna close out this morning with two big breaths together. Take a big inhale. And exhale. One more big inhale. And exhale. Thanks so much for joining us here at the center. I really look forward to a time when we can all be together again and have a safe day. Bye.